You've been running all around the house this morning, haven't you, huh? She's, she has finally made the crossover to being very comfortable with humans. Someday, probably next spring, when she's old enough to put out in the, the pen with her mother, they will reunite, they won't forget. But the cool thing is that she won't be afraid of humans and their world, which in my opinion, with our small place is a big safety factor. One time I walked around the corner to the barn and she was out of the pouch and I startled her and she bolted into the barn and almost ran into one of the pan, um, one of the garbage cans. And so this is, in my opinion, is a safety factor. If I had a huge piece of property where these critters could just run free, it would be a different story. But now that she's made that transition, she calls me when I leave. She knows what a pouch is. And now she's taking a rest. I can now feel comfortable knowing that she will be desensitized to things that could have caused her harm. I don't mean humans, but like getting scared and running into stuff. Not that that makes it easy to take her from her mother. I cried pretty hard. That was, um, very difficult but the important thing is that she's happy and Tilly finally seems to be okay but it took her about a week if you hear the myth and it is a myth that when kangaroos and wallabies are scared by predators in the wild and they run away they take their babies and throw them at the predators to save their life to save their own life, not the babies. But just so you know, that is a lie. And if you want to know more information, be sure to. <laughs> be sure to let me know. But babies are known to fall out of their mama's pouches if they're startled and they have to run fast. And that happened to you a couple times, huh, Willow? Your mama got startled and she hopped off and you rolled right out, didn't you? Yes, you did. And your mama came back to you, didn't she? Yeah. Love you, Willow. Love you, Willow.